Geriatric Radiography by Brandy Jones. Geriatrics, a branch of medicine dealing with the aged and the problems of aging. Geriatric patients are persons usually over the age of 65. The population is increasing. Procedures on this population are also increasing. Important for radiographers to understand geriatrics for successful procedures. Technology. A specialized field for the age includes illness prevention, illness management, health maintenance, and quality of life. Demographic and social effects of aging. Research has shown that several factors affect the quality of aging experience, gender, race, ethnicity, and social class. Culturally, aging and treatment of the elderly are determined by values of the ethnic group. Economic status of elderly is varied. Importance in important influence on health and well-being. Single and minority elders are more likely to have income at or below poverty level. Results equal unwilling to spend money on what others consider essential to be well-being. Ageism, a term used to describe the stereotyping of a discrimination against elderly persons, similar to racism and sexism. Attitudes of health care providers affect the quality of care. Research indicates that negative attitudes towards elder patients exist among health professionals. Quality of elderly care improves with appreciation for this special population. Positive attributes of providers, information, and education regarding elderly and unique conditions. Effects of aging, physical, cognitive, and psychosocial. Physical effects, most common health complaints of elderly, weight gain, fatigue, loss of bone mass, joint stiffness, loneliness, exercise is key to reducing the first four in this list. Balance, coordination, strength, and reaction time, all decreasing with age. Sight, hearing, taste, and smell also decline with age. Helpful to provide one instruction at a time. Reduce background noise, speak slowly, distinctly, and directly to the patient. Not all elderly, elderly patients are hard of hearing. Adjust voice volume as needed after assessment. Cognitive effects caused by disease, aging, and disuse. Fear of cognitive loss, especially Alzheimer's disease, are widespread among older persons. Dementia is progressive co cognitive impairment that eventually interferes with a daily function. Alzheimer's disease is the most common. Psychosocial effects. Positive attitude is key to healthy aging. One in five persons over age 65 shows signs of clinical depression. Successful aging linked to greater social contact, health satisfaction, low vulnerable personality traits, and fewer stressful life events. Psychosocial effects. Factors that increase the risk of depression and decreased self-efficiency, illness, medical emergencies, fixed income, few choices in personal living arrangements, changing roles from independence to dependence, helpful for radiographers to understand losses, social and physical, that elderly have to d deal with. Key to recognize that each elderly pe person is unique and deserves respect. Top 10 chronic conditions for 65 and over. Arthritis, hypertension, hearing impairment, heart disease, cataracts, deformity or orthopedic impairment, chronic sinusitis, diabetes, visual impairment, and varicose veins. Physiology of aging, health dependent upon the degree to which organ systems work together. Aging of organ systems, integumentary system order disorders, nervous system disorders, sensory disorder system disorders, musculoskeletal system disorders, cardiovascular system disorders, GI system disorders. Aging of organ systems, immune system decline, respiratory system disorders, hematologic system disorders, genourinary system disorders, endocrine system disorders. Integumentary system disorders, first apparent signs of aging, most common skin diseases, herpes, ulcer, shingles, malignant tumors, and decubitus ulcers. Continued, skin membranes flatten and become more vulnerable to abrasions and blisters. Skin becomes more wrinkled and thinner. 
gradual loss of function in sweat glands and skin receptors, which increases the risk of heat stroke. Continued, decrease in fat pad on feet, increased feet conditions, graying, thinning, and loss of hair, exposure to sunlight, a major factor effects on the endocrinary system. Most common skin tumors, basal cell carcinoma, malignant cell melanoma, and squamous cell carcinoma. Nervous system disorders, one of the most common causes of disability, affected by a degree of atherosclerosis. Blood flow to the brain affects tissue damage, slows motor and sensory tasks, increased risk of falls, cerebral infarcts lead to dementia. Sensory system disorders, presbyopia and age-related farsightedness, cataracts, disoriented color perception, decreased ability to adapt to light changes, hearing impairment very common, presbycusis, gradual progressive hearing loss of tone discrimination more common in men. Sensory system disorders, decline in sensitivity to taste and smell, decrease in numbers of taste buds, decrease in saliva, dry mouth, and cause taste loss. Hypsomia, loss of smell, accounts for decreased appetite and irregular eating habits. Musculoskeletal system disorders, musculoskeletal dysfunction, major cause of disability, osteoporosis, reduction in bone mass and density, four times more common in women, increased risks of fractures, kyphosis, degenerative disease, joint disease, or osteoarthritis, chronic deterioration of the joint cartilage, obesity is a key factor. Osteoarthritis is second most common cause of disability in the United States. Symptoms, pain, swelling, decreased range of motion of joint. Cardiovascular system disorders. Damage to this system affects the entire body. Cardiovascular disease is the most common cause of death worldwide. Loss of arterial elasticity, increases systolic blood pressure, greater risk for heart disease and stroke, postural hypertension, fall in blood pressure when rising from supine to standing position, arterial sclerosis, fatty plaque in arterial walls, predominant change in blood vessels, increased risk of aneurysm, increased blood clot formation, complications or embolism, heart attack, and stroke. Congestive heart failure, inability of heart to propel blood at a sufficient rate and volume, preventive measures, control high blood pressure, healthy diet, exercise, and no smoking. Gastrointestinal system disorders, malignancies, colorectal cancer is the second to lung cancer as cause of cancer-related mortality. Early detection measures are very effective and increase survival. Peptic ulcer disease, bleeding, pancreatitis, gallstones, hepatitis, dehydration, difficulty swallowing, diverticulitis, gastric outlet obstruction, esophageal foreign bodies, constipation, and fecal incontinence. Healthy lifestyles, habits decrease the GI problems, no smoking, limited alcohol intake, high fiber, low sugar diet, and regular exercise. Immune system decline increases vulnerability to diabetes, pneumonia, and nosocomial infections. Three general categories of illness that preferably afflict the elderly infections, cancer, and autoimmune disease. Prevalent infections of the aged influenza, pneumonia, tuberculosis, meningitis, urinary tract infections. Respiratory system disorders, lungs lose elasticity, decreasing oxygen, carbon dioxide exchange, breathing muscles, and rib cage stiffen, increases shortness of breath. Diseases that increase in frequency with aging, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, pneumonia, lung cancer is the most common cancer-related death in men and women. Hematologic system disorders. Anemia is a primary concern. Symptoms of anemia are pale skin, shorter breath, fatigue easily caused by insufficient dietary intake, inflammation, or destruction of the GI lining to absorb vitamin B12.
genitourinary disorders, incontinence is the most well-known, caused by changes in the bladder capacity and muscular structure, leads to social and hygiene concerns, number of nephrons in the kidneys decrease, cause normal dose of medicine to be overdosed in elderly. An acute and chronic renal failure is uncommon in the elderly. Benign prostate hyperplasia is common in men over 70. Enlargement of the prostate gland that can obstruct urine flow. Prostate cancer is the third most common cancer in the males. Over 80% of tumors are found after age 65. The endocrine system disorders. Diabetes, the most common age-related endocrine system disease. Non-insulin dependent type increases in frequency with age. Regular exercise and weight loss reduces risk and delays onset. Patient care of elderly, quick tip. Take time to educate the patient and family. Decreases patient stress and anxiety. Increases compliance and satisfaction. Speak lower and closer. Reduce background noise. Treat patient with respect and dignity. Communicate with warmth, empathy, and a positive attitude. Patient care of the elderly. Quick tips. Provide rest time in between projections and procedures. Reduces vertigo and fear of falling. Avoid use of adhesive tape. Can easily damage the skin. Use table pads and handrails. Increases comfort and compliance. Provide blankets, sponges, and other positioning aids. Increases comfort. Reduces risk of pressure-related injury. Carefully check patient history before contrast administration. Reduces adverse reactions such as dehydration and induced kidney failure. Assess for swallowing difficulty. Administer drinking liquids in an upright position to reduce, reduce the risk of aspiration if possible. The Joint Commission criteria, age-specific competency for all healthcare professionals are required. Age-related care specifics include assessment of visual or hearing impairments, digestive and esophageal problems, grief concerns, and provision of warmth and safety aids. Appropriate age-specific communication skills are required. Knowledge of age-related changes and disease processes assist radiographers in providing needed care to elderly. Radiographer's role. Adapt procedures to accommodate disability and disease. Understanding of, of physiology and pathology of aging. Awareness of social, psychological, con cognitive, and economics of aging. Radiographic positioning for geriatric patients. For a chest, for PA, wrap arms around the upright device to increase support and security. Provide support with stability and moving arms up to forward to, for the lateral. Perform examination in wheelchair and note projection change for the radiologist. Hyperkyphosis changes positioning landmarks. The spine. Use sponges on the table pad. Upright more comfortable for those who are able. Seated position may be used for the examinations that require upright position. Pelvis and hip. Fractures are common. Do not rotate limb until the fracture has been ruled out. Cross table lateral, often more comfortable. If non-trauma patients, sandbags, useful to support rotation of limbs. Upper extremity. Limited flexibility and mobility present positioning challenges. Contraction of limbs caused by stroke must not be forced into position. Sponges, sandbags, and the use of cross table projections are used. Lower extremity, limited flexibility and mobility present positioning challenges. Cross table lateral projections are useful. Feet and ankle examinations can be performed while patient is in the wheelchair. Reduces the need for transfer. Technical factors have to be adjusted to accommodate diseases and normal age-related changes. To make correct technique adjustments for diseases and age-related changes, radiographers must know whether disease changes additive or destructive. Exposure time is critical. Shorter times reduce the risk of imaging, involuntary and voluntary motion. Elderly may have difficulty maintaining required position. Breathing instructions must be carefully communicated and practiced. 
the end.